yo, yo, my friend. Welcome to Coach Paul's Life Tip Podcast. This is a place where you are going to be set free through every single day, challenges, struggles, possibilities, all of those things in your life. These life tips are going to help you navigate to your process. Hit that subscribe button here on iTunes and drop me a review down below if you like my content. You could also follow me on Spotify, iHeart, and YouTube. Now, here's the kicker. If you want to watch me live, you can pick me up live every single day on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Coach Paul Ibarra. I come on 7.30 a.m. every single morning, Central Standard Time, to bring you these tips. So once again, that's facebook.com forward slash coach Paul Ibarra. So if you are all about community and helping build a community, then that's the place to be. With that being said, sit back and enjoy the ride. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to life tip number 25 with coach Paul. And this one here is one that I really, truly believe that it's going to set you free because I think everyone in life at some point uh, deals with this issue right here. Pride masks truth, but truth sets you free. Now, what does that really mean? I know that you you are sitting there going, well, I'm not very prideful. I mean, I go to work. I, I treat people well. I do this. I do that. But pride masks so many different things. So in the word, It says pride comes before a fall. It's sad, but true. And in the word, it says that when that comes is because you've got a haughty nature. You know, pride isn't always about being right. It's not always about being pompous or even being arrogant. But also what pride is about is about hiding from the truth. When maybe you've been hurt, you've been offended. You've been ridiculed. You've been abused. You begin to start building these walls when something has happened to you. And it's okay to share with somebody that you feel a certain type of way. And this is where pride comes in, especially those who have been abused, emotionally abused, physically abused, mentally abused. Abuse is a real thing. And it's not only something that comes against women. This is something that comes against men as well. And so that pride will begin to cause you to mask something in your life that will make everyone seem like you're okay, but inside you're a broken mess. And so in that abuse, when something has happened to you, like I said prior, it's okay for you to share with somebody that you feel that certain type of way. For instance, when people go to church and I'm not here to bash churches, I've built a church. But truth be told, when you show up to church, we get caught up in the whole language of Christianese. How are you today? I'm blessed. How are you today? I'm doing good. But inside, they're a mess. And so this is where pride comes in, not only because you don't want to share with nobody, but it's almost as if you feel like you're going to embarrass God for having a bad day or having a bad situation. Listen. You go to a doctor to get healed. So you ought to be able to go to church to be real with people. Now, if you're going every week and you have the same issue and you have the same problems, yes, at some point you've got to start speaking life into yourself. Tip number 24 was affirming yourself, right? And so you have to affirm yourself, but we all have come to a place in our life where life has beat us down. Life has exhausted us. And so when you have that pride, that prideful mentality, you begin to think like, I've got to hold everything together, right? But then all those walls that you build up, you think they're promises to yourself, but they're really something that's going to implode outside of you. And so Christ tells us in Luke 17 that offenses will never end and that it's an everyday thing. So. My question for you today is this, because this is an area of everyone's life or people's life that really, truly concerns me. All right. Who can you share your deepest concerns, offenses, hurts and hangups with? Who do you really have to stay accountable with? Right. Who do you have? Everyone needs that person that they can talk to. 
Are you creating a facade that nothing or no one can ever hurt you? That's another form of pride. And so my last one is this. How's that last one working out for you? Accountability and security is needed in your life. And it's time that you take action. Taking action with letting people in your life is probably the greatest thing that you can ever do to help you walk out this thing called life. And it's time for you to be free. It's time for you to be free. So my question for you today again is this, who do you have that's on your side? Who's cheering you on, but also who's that person that's in your life that holds you accountable and that's real with you. Listen, I'm a life coach. If you need me, reach out to me at identity of one coaching at gmail.com. Let's get on a call, a 30 minute free session uh, to be able to go over some tips and nuggets, uh, help you in some areas and see if this isn't something that you've been looking for. All right. So I will be back again with tip number 25, but I want you to remember that your pride has to come down. All right. So I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I want to thank you once again for tuning in to your life tips with Coach Paul. If this podcast has brought value to your life, hit that subscribe button, my friend, and drop me a review if you haven't already. And just a reminder, you can catch my latest live tips on Facebook.com forward slash Coach Paul Ibarra, 730 a.m. Central Standard Time every weekday morning. And if you or anyone needs help in any area that you have heard me touch on, I am here to serve you, my friend. Visit my website, setfreelife.net, to schedule a free call with me, Coach Paul. So until we meet again, keep it moving and share some kindness with someone today. God bless.